Hey guys, Meet Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon evening mountain weather update on this Wednesday. First stop is radar because that is where our storm system is in the Pacific Northwest. You've got rain, snow, depending on your elevation. So it's trying to move in. It's moving into Idaho, and we'll look at Schweitzer coming up. It's moving up into interior BC, the snow is. I'll show you Red Mountain in a second, and it's going to be moving into parts of northwest Montana. And it's got snow on the southern end there at the highest elevations over Tahoe and also Shasta. But this first part of the storm will not make it into the Tetons, will not make it into Utah or even Colorado. It's going to fizzle before it does all going north. There's a second piece behind this that will rotate in even further south. That one in a couple of days from now will bring snow to parts of Utah, Wyoming, and, and the rest of Montana. So we're going to have to wait on that piece. But let's go up to Schweitzer. They've got snow coming down up, on and off. And I actually have snow continuing for Schweitzer with moderate accumulations on the way. Um, rest of today through tomorrow, maybe another six inches. And then snow beyond that as well in the extended forecast. So you'll do quite well on Schweitzer. Red Mountain up there in BC looking good. Look at all the new snow. Look at Paradise Lodge. Um, that deck is just socked in up there. And I've got additional snow for, for Red Mountain and Revelstoke and Fernie. Uh, for the next couple of days, on and off, moderate accumulations, and even some beyond that in the extended forecast. So let me give you the lay of the land. So um, the key to this water vapor is the moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues. This is our main storm system right here. That's the one that's pushing that moisture in to the Pacific Northwest. But behind it, there's some additional energy that will come in even further to the south within a couple of days. Um, this low pressure out here is a big player. That will send that energy in. That's the one that will bring snow to Utah, Wyoming, um, late on the 15th and into the 16th. But even that fades and fizzles before it makes it into Colorado. So all of this important in the forecast. Let me show you my latest snow timeline. Best odds of snow, Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC. So for example, in the Wasatch, light accumulations coming afternoon, evening, 1115 into 1116. Another light accumulation coming on 1118. So I don't have anything major for the Wasatch as of right now. In the Tetons, moderate accumulations, afternoon, evening, 1115 into 1116, and then light for 1118. In Interior, BC, I showed you Red Mountain, Snow tonight through 11.15, moderate accumulations, and then heavy 11.16 late through 11.18. So a great stretch for those areas. All right, here is the forecast radar and satellite. This is by 5.30 this evening. That's the current situation. Now, by the time we get to tomorrow morning, look at that snow. It all faded. It moved up in the parts through parts of northwest Montana. But it's gone. It, it did not make it into Utah, Wyoming, or Colorado. Now, the second piece, look at it rotating into California. Snowing in the Sierra. That moves into the interior, further to the south. That should survive the trip and help to produce and generate some snow through a lot of Nevada, uh, parts of Utah, Wyoming, the rest of Idaho, and parts of Montana. But even that piece dries up before it reaches Colorado. Now, this is an important piece of the puzzle right here. Look to the south. You see that low coming out of New Mexico and Colorado? Two or three days ago, it looked like this was going to be a big player in the forecast. Now it's out of phase. It's out of timing with the next trough moving in. So there's no merger. It doesn't collect it. There's no big low development. It moves through very fast and only clips extreme southern Colorado and northern New Mexico with some moderate, potentially moderate accumulations. And then it's out of here. Next storm already coming in on its coattails moves down through the Inner Mountain, drops straight down through parts of Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and then it moves down through, and then it's gone. And after that happens, we are left with a north flow through Colorado with some clouds and maybe a snow shower, but then it's high pressure sitting across the west. My latest snow forecast, rest of today through tomorrow, mainly light accumulations, a couple pockets of moderate up through the high cascades of Washington and the high volcanoes, and along uh, parts of uh, the coastal range of BC, even interior BC and Schweitzer, potentially moderate accumulations. There's that six I was talking about for Schweitzer. Second time period is definitely more active. So let's talk about this. We're finding ourselves here in Colorado really sandwiched in between all these storm systems. 
One coming up from the south does deliver moderate snow to extreme southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. That's out of here then. The other shot of some moderate accumulations, three to maybe eight inches, is right along um, the central and northern mountain corridor. So the I-70 corridor north. And that's probably it. And I don't have a lot for the Wasatch. Two to six. Uh, probably six to ten for the Tetons, Yellowstone, and Big Sky. And only light accumulations for the Sierra. I don't have anything significant there either. The, the biggest accumulations are all going to be up in the Pacific Northwest and BC. You can see anywhere in pink there is over a foot. So we're, we could be looking at one, two, maybe even three feet in a couple of spots there. Um, interior BC does well. And another nine on the board for Schweitzer during this time period. So that's over a foot of total snow for Schweitzer during the first and second time periods. Um, all right, let me go back to just the, the first phase again. That's all of uh, the rest of today through 1114. And then the second phase is 1115 through 1122. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great night.